So this is my second video on normal distribution. I've done the first two parts of this question. I found the the probability that a uh, lamb weighs between 1.5 and 1.7. I found the probability that it weighs more than 1.75. Part three isn't actually anything to do with normal distribution. It's expectation. They tell me that lambs bull in Southland weigh less than 1.25 underweight and likes die. Stam expects uh, 6,400 lambs to be born here. How many will be expect to be die from being underweight? That will be, well, I need to work out the probability it's smaller than 1.25. So that means I've got a 1.25 as my biggest value. Oops. And my smallest value has got to be something suitably small, so I'm going to change that being minus and then a very, very big number. And the probability that x is smaller than 1.25 is 0.22. 0.2275 right so that's my probability I know there's 6400 lambs so 6400 times my probability tells me the number of lambs I expect to die now here's the nice thing is I worked out the answer which was the probability so if I go shift answer it will transpose that entire probability including all the decimal places into my thing that didn't work hmm okay let's try six four oh oh times naught point naught two two seven five should have worked that tells me a hundred and forty five point six which I can't have, so I'm going to round it up to 146 lambs. Okay, so I've used the probability. I think the fact that it didn't like my answer bit is more to do with my calculator being an emulator than an actual calculator. I know your calculators will use the answer. Okay, uh, I've used the pro I've worked out the probability, and then I've used it in expectation, which is why it's a little bit worth more in the skills so then we've got that one done so that leaves us these last two and those last two are what I would define as an inverse normal problem that will be a separate video